few a uh, few weeks ago, I was getting into my car, and this lady comes up to me, and uh, you know, in my building, and she says, "Oh, you know, these gasoline prices are going up," and and you know, I I keep track of gasoline prices, but I don't, you know, it doesn't really affect me anymore. So she turns to me and she's like, uh, "Oh, well, you must be the only one in this building who's actually happy about the price increases." I'm like, yeah, you know, that's that's what happens when you drive electric. I think it's a very good idea. It's an eco-friendly car, especially with all of us trying to go green, and it is a good statement for the next generation to follow in our footsteps. There's no fume, there's no pollution, and this has got nothing to do with being cool. It is more about a smart car and being practical with your choice. As an individual, I don't think I'm going to either save the environment or I'm going to create a green revolution. No, I don't think so. I would rather keep this car and use it. For the sheer convenience that the car offers you. When we designed the Rava, we first tried to see how we could make it the most energy efficient. And to do this, we created several technologies like the energy management system, low-rain resistance tires, and a host of technologies to make it the most efficient electric car. In fact, when a study was done in the UK, uh, Reva came as the most efficient electric vehicle, and probably three times more efficient than the best hybrid electric car. So the technologies give you that part of greenness, which is much higher. But when we try to take it a step further, we said, why doesn't why don't we have the processes that make it also much better? So we try to look at using recyclable body panels. We try to use pre-impregnated panels that gets away from the painting system. We looked at using a very little amount of energy uh, in the from the manufacturing process to reduce the carbon footprint as we looked at these. So not only will we be looking at a green product, but also processes that would kind of reduce the amount of energy. The first thing is that it's a it's a very small, beautiful car and so smooth and so peppy and. Um, it looks so small from the outside, but so much room inside. Going in a Reva, I know I'm not emanating anything. I'm not, you know, there's no exhaust from my vehicle, and I know that uh, that way I'm contributing a lot to the environment. Because of the size and its peppiness, you can uh, make your way through traffic much faster than you can in a bigger car, unless you're a cab driver. Cab drivers can make speed anyway. It's fantastic for for the city. My problem is more with waste, and I feel that the less you waste, the better overall. One of the main reasons I uh, drive a driver is that I don't waste space, I don't waste petrol, I don't cause pollution, and uh, I think once you uh, start doing this, then you uh, think about other things that you do. For example, plastic bags, or uh, just generally being wasteful. Mm -hmm. So it's all it sort of makes you a little more conscious. Whenever I've been close to a Reva, I've I've always compared the car to myself, and it just didn't add up to me. Like I used to always wonder how would I fit inside the car. But now that I've taken a test drive, uh, uh, I I got inside the car, and your eyes just search for things that aren't there. You search for the clutch. You search for the gearbox, and it's it's just not there. And you just have a lot of space for your legs instead, and and for your head. And I truly believe that going green doesn't have to be the serious thing. It can be fun, and you can have fun doing it. And uh, I, and I think Reva is one of those ways that you can have fun while taking care of the environment, and actually feel good about it too at the same time. I bought the yellow Reva, so named him Sunny Boy. It's been my, uh, been a drop of sunshine in my life, like a drop of happiness, lots of drops actually. Uh, and he's enabled me to be independent. Uh, I do not have to depend on anyone. Uh, I can make my way within the city. Uh, I feel liberated. I feel more in control of myself. Uh, and. What do I say? Uh, green.
even though he's yellow. Yeah. But yeah, green, very green. I think the fact that somebody drives a Reva makes a huge statement about them. It tells you that this person is conscious about the environment. It, he or she is a green person. Yes, I would definitely like to be part of this movement. This, uh, the people who drive Reva, they really stand for something. As you integrate technologies and products in a really meaningful manner, going green really doesn't mean sacrifices. It's actually about intelligent choices. And I really wish that that similar thing could be through all machines. It would really make this place a much better place to live in.